It's a 4th of July tradition dating back at least three decades. The annual tractor parade here in Peacham, a celebration of agriculture in Vermont. The roar of antique engines, the smell of fuel, hay bales, and mud. Farmers and their families in the Northeast Kingdom making the tractor trek to Peach for the annual parade. And this parade is, brings together the community of people who, you know, office is on a tractor, not, a, not in town. Farm machines new and old, and really old, like this steam-powered tractor from 1920. Honestly, it's just like listening to amazing music. It's Chase Bogey's fifth time driving in the parade, his family's operated a beef farm in Rygate for generations. He says farming is a lifestyle. A lot of people think it's just like the normal work. People get up, do it every day. It's like, oh my gosh, that's boring. Why would you do that? But actually, it's really fun. You get to learn a lot of things, and you get to have fun. Dozens of tractors rolling through downtown in front of cheering crowds, putting generations of farming families on full display. And for others like Amy Gates, who grew up farming in Mosquitoville in Barnet, but now lives in New Hampshire. It's a homecoming to show her kids her roots. Bring your family here. Um, you know, kind of explain to them if they're little, uh, who these people are that are driving the tractors, what they're doing for our communities, and that these are our neighbors and our friends. Vermont was once home to thousands of dairy farms, but in recent years, small farms have faced numerous challenges, falling milk prices, rising feed costs, and competition from large producers. In Peacham, just two active dairy farms remain, but they stress that keeping the cherished tradition alive and rolling through town allows the agricultural lifestyle to live on. This is kind of a celebration of, of, of their hard work. And for many, after the parade, it's back to the farm, because working to feed Vermont and the nation is a full-time job. Reporting in Peacham, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. And just down the road, hundreds turned out for Cabot's Independence Day parade today. Their parade kicked off at 11 a.m. featuring floats from Bread and Puppet, Cabot Creamery, and a number of local businesses and farms. Onlookers who grew up in town said though the village was hit hard a year ago by flooding, events like this are what make their community special.